All right, so we're going to be building our version of a Daedra worshiping Dramora type of character who worships Malog, but we're going to go with a Breton. That way we can get that dragon skin absorb and all that spell resistance goodness. We're definitely going to be playing the evil route scene. We're going to go ahead and make him look completely like a Dramora of some kind. I'm thinking like a dark reddish on the skin tone, something that's going to be like very different, but we want it to look realistic, not like weird red, but just like tinge of like that crimson blood-stained skin kind of red you know what i mean like kind of like kind of like this kind of realm oh yeah you already know we gotta make him a beefy boy yeah being that this character is going to be a worshiper of my log ball be like a vampire daedra hybrid in case you didn't know bats are actually called chiropteras which means like hand wing and if you ever look at a bat's wing up close you'll notice that their wings are actually their hands and they actually have fingers and a thumb digit so what we're gonna do is give him these weird long digits and small palms to kind of represent that <laughs> bro look at his hands so we're gonna use our alternate start mod which gives you a new start in the game based on a variety of things such as owning a house being in a guild or even any of these random scenarios that the mod provides for you. For this build, we're gonna go ahead and be a member of a guild. And the guild we're choosing to be a part of, I believe we're gonna go ahead and go for Harkin's Court. After selecting your start, you just go to bed. As usual with our builds, we spawn into our new life, this one being a DLC, so we have a little bit of a quest cutscene type thing going on here. No matter where you pick, whenever you select a new area, alternate start will start you in that area with a bunch of supplies and things like that that fit the character beginning that you chose. As always, when using alternate start to build, these characters will be spawned into the environment that we selected, ours being Lord Harkin's Court, so here we are at the Castle of the Vampires. Using alternate start, you're also going to gain a bunch of items and equipment that relate to the beginning that you selected. It's for example, if we chose to be a necromancer, we'd have more necromancer based items here, like mage robes and things like that. Since we chose the vampire, we have these vampire items and armor. Fool, did you think more like Bob? The Lord of Domination would so easily reward you. We also have the Dark Envoy mod in, which is Dark Envoy Vampire Powers. This mod adds in a bunch of new powers and spells based on being a vampire, such as Bat Form, where you can travel in a creative type mode as a cloud of bats. Bat Teleport, which lets you point and then just teleport to wherever your cursor is. Bat Travel, which is the same as a carriage, but, you know, it's got the theme of being bat travel around it. And then you get things like Dark Halloween, Crippling Terror, Hideous Mist, and a whole slew of other abilities from this Dark Envoy mod. So to activate that mod, we simply just use the Shrine of Malik Ball. Being our start was here at Harkin's Castle. We got lucky that there's one here automatically, but you can use any shrine. Even if you want to use the House of Terror Shrine, that one would work as well, or any Malik Ball Shrine that you find. A fundamental part of this modded character creation is going to be the Better Vampires mod. In our powers menu, we'll have a customizer reset Better Vampires mod ability here. We'll activate that and it's going to take us through a prompt to set up all of our ins and outs of the Better Vampires mod. This is things such as sunlight damage, how potions and food act with your character being a vampire, how NPCs will react to you whether they'll hate you or not, and even how your feeding will work. Traditionally, when you feed, you have less power in Skyrim and then when you starve, you get more power. This seems backwards to me, so Better Vampires is a mod that will make it so that when you feed more, you get more powers. And then you can set it so that way it makes sense so it's like you feed more you get more power but people will hate you and then if you starve you have less power but people like you and then having more or less feeding also you can have that related to your sun damage as you want to customize it this mod is definitely going to be a fundamental part of this build. Aside from the vampire spell, you can also go into your options menu to check your vampire status, feedings, skills, abilities, and spells, and as well as strengths, weaknesses, and other just general mod cleanup things. Another mod to make any of your builds feel really at home is to go ahead and add in the Conjure Gold mod. This mod will make it so you have a million gold inside of your inventory. I usually will have the mod spawn a million, but I'll only take about 250,000. In this play, we're playing a Dramora slash Daedra, so you know, financially, we should just be able to have as much as we need also another big time recommendation i have if you're gonna be doing any custom builds if you mess with the height make sure you have the customizable camera mod it's also featured in the race menu mod that helps you customize your characters it'll have a camera menu there but if that one ever disappears or anything like that you can always use the customizable camera mod to go ahead 
and go in and manually change things. Another one of our fundamental mods when making a new character is Winter Sun Faiths of Skyrim. This mod adds a religion aspect that's based on either your race, class, or any activity that you're simply doing. You'll be prompted by this mod anytime you do an activity that relates to a Daedric Prince or one of the different divines or any type of god or deity in the Elder Scrolls universe. When you first start, it'll come up based off your race, do's and do nots being the things that you have to do to continue to worship and gain positive favor from that god as well as the negatives that will cause you to lose favor with that god. Then if you don't want any of them, you just simply click none. Being that we're looking to worship the Daedric Prince Malogba, we just headed right back inside the castle after the mod activates and we have a shrine right here in the castle. We click activate on the shrine, it prompts us with a worship the Daedric Prince Malogba box. By worshiping Malogba will drain attributes such as stamina, magicka, or health from nearby foes, properly worship Malogba and gain the bonuses. We need to slay people who stand in our way, trap souls in his name, live as a vampire and never seek a cure, and then use destruction magic abilities. Meditate once a day to strengthen your bond with this deity, favor with Malogball 16.1% and we got a new ability known as meditation. So we go into our magic, click meditation. Now after we do any type of worship task, we can meditate and then we'll gain more favor with Malogball but we also just gain it because of the simple fact that we are a vampire. So as time goes on, you'll get more and more favor. As you see, I just walked a couple of steps and I didn't gain that much extra, but as you progress, it will give you more and more, and then you'll get new abilities once you reach the 100% mark. The religion mod gives us different abilities, but it mainly adds to the immersion of building a custom modded character, and it adds the culture and lore of Skyrim around the character that you're creating. And those are pretty much the only mods you need for your ultimate vampire slash Dramora build. So go ahead and take that and build something that suits you. That's all I got for you guys today. So please do subscribe for more content like this and uh, much love.